Enemy vessel is still under construction and not yet complete. Be the first to know the latest updates, breaking news, and mind-blowing insights about your favorite movies. Subscribe now and become a true movie spy. You almost got them. Ahsoka's Eye of Shaun was constructed to resurrect Grand Admiral Thrawn, but it may possibly resurrect a famous emblem of the destroyed Empire. Ahsoka's Eye of Shaun might pave the way for the revival of one of the Empire's coolest star destroyers. The titular Ahsoka Tano, played by Rosario Dawson, has reunited with her pupil Sabine Wren, Natasha Lou Bordizzo, to prevent the return of the absent Imperial Commander Grand Admiral Thrawn. As a result, the pair has been at odds with Thrawn's agent, Lady Morgan Elsbeth, who has devised a method of bringing Thrawn back to the known galaxy. Lady Morgan, as revealed in Ahsoka Episode 3, has constructed the Eye of Shaun, a huge structure in orbit around the planet Setos. With the help of mercenaries like Dark Jedi Balin Skull and his disciple Shin Hadi, as well as former Imperial Inquisitor Merrick, Ahsoka and Sabine have their work cut out for them. Similarly, a new Star Wars hypothesis indicates that the Eye of Shaun may be capable of resurrecting more than just Thrawn, who was reported to have been banished to another galaxy altogether following his defeat in Star Wars Rebels season finale. The meaning of Ahsoka's Eye of Shaun in Ashoka Episode 3, Huyang scans the Eye of Shaun. Following Ahsoka and Sabine's arrival in the Dinab system, Huyang, the Jedi droid, was able to finish a scan of the Eye of Shaun as Ahsoka and Sabine escaped Elsbeth's soldiers in orbit around Setos, headed by Shin and Merrick and enemy fighters. Despite the damage, the heroes were able to land their spacecraft in the deep forests of Setos, where Huyang verified his discovery. The Eye of Shaun is essentially a huge hyperspace ring capable of traveling to other galaxies. Hu Yang says that the sheer magnitude and power of the Eye of Shaun allowed for leaps between galaxies, just as the prequel trilogy's hyperspace rings helped smaller spacecraft like Jedi starfighters fly from system to system. Similarly, the old star chart discovered by Ahsoka and stolen from Sabine by Morgan's operatives in Ahsoka Episodes 1 and 2 has shown Elsbeth the way to Peridea, a place in another galaxy were Thrawn, and maybe Jedi Ezra Bridger is said to reside in exile. However, Thrawn is unlikely to be alone in this brand new Star Wars world. Morgan Elsbeth's hyperspace ring has the potential to resurrect Thrawn's Star Destroyer theory explained as shown in Ahsoka, Morgan Elsbeth, and Grand Admiral Thrawn. Ezra Bridger utilized his relationship with a pod of star whales, known as Pergil, in the series finale of Star Wars Rebels to send both himself and Thrawn away from the world of Lot Hell, ultimately sparing his home world from Empire rule. It has now been established that they jumped to another galaxy, thanks to Ahsoka. However, both Ezra and Thrawn were on board the Grand Admiral's flagship, the Chimera, a massive star destroyer, with the bulk of her crew remaining aboard during the unorthodox leap with the Pergil. Morgan Elsbeth's hyperspace ring could resurrect Thrawn's star destroyer theory explained as, shown in Ahsoka, Morgan Elsbeth, and Grand Admiral Thrawn. Ezra Bridger used his friendship with a pod of star whales, known as Pergil, in the Star Wars Rebels season finale to transport both himself and Thrawn away from the world of Lot Hell, therefore saving his homeworld from Empire tyranny. Thanks to Ahsoka, it has now been established that they jumped to another galaxy. Ezra and Thrawn, on the other hand, were aboard the Grand Admiral's flagship, the Chimera, a large star destroyer, with the majority of her crew remaining aboard during the unorthodox leap with the Pergil. What characterized the Chimera in Star Wars? Thrawn's vessel in Star Wars, the Chimera Darth Vader's Super Star Destroyer, the Executor, was one of the Empire's far larger star destroyers. Thrawn's Chimera, on the other hand, is unmistakably one of a kind. For starters, it has a stylized three-headed serpent known as a Chimera on its bottom, thus the ship's name. Even before his enlistment into the Empire, Thrawn's personal insignia was the Chimera, and the imagery would become synonymous with Thrawn in the Star Wars galaxy as a powerful symbol of terror. The flagship of Thrawn's seventh fleet was outfitted with additional turbo lasers around its command tower as well as eight-barreled guns rather than the more consistent double-barreled cannons seen on other Imperial I-class star destroyers. However, the Chimera's ultimate potency would be its probable return alongside Thrawn, serving as a grim herald of Imperial rebirth throughout the galaxy. It might possibly be transporting thousands of Imperial crew members to help the Imperial remnant under Thrawn's new reign as heir to the Empire. Stay tuned, because we have a mission to uncover the most enigmatic film secrets ever created. Remember, with Movie Spy, the truth is just one click away. Thanks for watching. And complete.